I believe that it says that we are live. Now, I can't talk very loud. I won't be talking very long, you know. But um, hold on. Yeah, baby. Uh oh, I see people. People are coming in. Hold on now. Uh, let me get the chat up. I didn't even realize that the chat wasn't up yet. Oh Lord, have mercy. What am I doing? Has it been that long since I streamed? Has it been that long? All right. I don't know who's watching from where, but hey, man, welcome. Welcome back. This is OURT Spersanza Digital Bullpen Postpartum Edition. Uh, yeah, you know, because why not? I, I've been, I, I, I was allowed, I was allowed to take an hour to maybe do a little bit of art, a little bit of music, you know, see what happens. And all right. God, what's going on, brother man? Not much. I'm just chilling. Um, eventually, um, we'll see what happens. Some other people come in, other people don't come in. It's like I said, this is the postpartum edition of Digital Bullpen by me. I'm just chilling. Um, I was able to get an hour. An hour so I can, you know, do what I do. We'll see what happens there. Man, it's good to see you guys as well, man. I can't complain. You know, I can't complain. I appreciate you for dropping by. It's been it's been an, an uh, exciting time. So let me adjust my chair and uh, adjust my digital tablet and adjust my mic <laughs> and adjust everything. Cause wow, I'm telling you, man, it's been interesting. It's been an interesting life. Last couple of days. Oh no, please don't tell me that I'm. Oh man. I hate you, digital tablet. Oh no. It's doing that whole laggy thing again. I just checked to see that. What's up, Air? How you doing? Ah, freaking. Um, Hi, your smell. The computer's lagging. Uh, free up memory. This uh, one dry. Okay. Yes. Let's get rid of all that. Let's see how that does. All right. That seems to have worked a little bit. A little bit of magic. Man, I hate it when this. Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna have to reboot the stupid computer. This is dumb. There's no reason for this stylus to lag. I just turned this computer on. Ay Dios mío. Well, that sucks. Let's see what I can do. Huh. Core customize. 
see what's going on, that my system is acting so funky that I can't even make a stroke. I knew I should have rebooted this computer before I started. Let's see. So y'all see what my pain, my struggle is. Hold on. I think I got hit up on uh, Facebook Messenger. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with this thing. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on. There's no reason why this thing should be lagging. Hmm. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> Trusty said, just reboot. Hold on, Trusty. I'm trying to see if I can get it if I can get it done um via the application. Damn it, man. What up, Trusty? What up? <laughs> Man, just it would figure that one time I got a little bit of time so I could just, you know, you know, and 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 my computer wants to act straight donkey. I think I just need uh when Josh comes in, I just reboot my system because I think it'll still keep the um the stream going right. Oh, let's see. OBS Studio. We have to shut this down. We need to shut that down. This down. This down. This down. I Skype on here. Okay. <laughs> working in the commission. So that was that mission barbecue, man. What is that? Is that where is that at? Oh, okay. Twitter. Twitter. Uh Josh. Uh, All right. In the meantime, let's see what we got going on. We want to get this off. Well, there he goes, Josh. What up, Josh? Hey, what's up, man? Oh. What's going on? Man, I'm over here. Christopher Jackson. Hello there, Christopher. How you doing? I'm over here trying to figure out what my computer is acting a donkey. 
Is that a muddy? A donkey. Like um, sometimes my computer when it's on too long, <sighs> Clip Studio start lagging. So I'll oh. make a a pen stroke, right? Uh huh. But it won't register. It gets like uh sticky. Like just like now. I'm thinking I might Mission Barbecue. I got one in my area. Yeah, Christopher Jackson, man. Mission Barbecue is amazing. I might have to reboot. Uh oh. Because I can't I can't draw. <laughs> I can't draw. If I reboot, will it keep the stream going with you though, right? Uh maybe. We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh restart. So I hope everyone's having a good night. I guess I kept the live going. It did. <laughs> That's awesome. I apologize for the inconvenience, folks. Uh, I don't know what was going on with my computer, but that was crazy. She's uh, humming right along now. And like always, it's a pain in the buttocks. Yep, yep. All right. All right. They are gone, man. Hey, hello, everybody, man. Thank you for joining us, man. I greatly appreciate everybody for coming by. Again, like I said, this is the digital. This is uh, the digital bullpen postpartum edition. <laughs> For those postpartum, who know, postpartum. <laughs> oh Jesus! As long as there's not depression after it, I'm fine. No, no, no depression. This is just the postpartum edition. <laughs> It'll be a depression if uh, if other things happen. But no, no, no. This is just the postpartum edition, man. You know. Uh, <laughs> In case, in case y'all don't know, I just I just had a, a baby, so I've been out of commission for a while. You know, and um I behaved, I behaved so the so the wife said that I could I could stream for about an hour or so. Aww. Now that that may change depending on the attitude of the baby. Yeah. That might change. 
<laughs> but you know, I I kind of miss this, and this is kind of relaxing. You know. So, I was uh, <laughs> what's up, Bitbiter? What's going on, brother? Yeah, I'm trying to be back. Trying to be back. Trying, you know. I made, I made uh, two legends. Only one legend, Josh Chris Hart, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the legend. You know, dude. So I just found out they announced just a few hours ago, Galaxy Con will not be returning to Louisville. Oh no, for real? Yep. Apparently there's been some fights between them and the um, convention center. And they had already <clears throat> pre-booked three years worth of cons there. And the convention center said that they didn't. And they've already given the dates away to something else. Oh, wow. And so they were going to get another weekend in October. And the convention center raised the rates and made all these different rules about, you know, venue and people and, and all this crap. So they said, well, unless things change, we won't be coming back. Oh, wow. That's crazy. See, that's why we can't have nice things. Exactly. <laughs> that's why we can't have nice things. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I, I kind of missed everybody, you know, people in the chat, uh, Trusty, Josh, the whole work you work, you know. I'm kind of glad to be back, man. Crystal Jackson says, we'll not be going to the Comic-Con due to coronavirus. Man, that thing is that thing is ridiculous, man. Um, like, we have no baby wipes or toilet papers in any of the stores, no... Uh, <laughs> No Clorox products, no Lysol products, no antibacterial products, period. It's ridiculous. I was like, wow, for real? I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> Bit by the same. Disturbing. Yeah, did you hear what he said? <laughs> this section is disturbing. Hey, it's bones, man. Yeah, yeah. Christopher Jackson says, "Same here, brother. All gone at the at the SC Johnson, making the big bucks. I know, man. Oh, and they're prize gouging. And like, if you want to order it online, it's ridiculously expensive. Like, oh, I just ordered it on Amazon, and you're paying that fine. So I'm just waiting. I don't understand what the baby wipes and the toilet paper have to do with the coronavirus, though. Like." Is that like because you get the runs or something? And no, I'm confused. It's an upper respiratory infection. So it's got nothing to do with the shits. <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to figure it out, man. Because toilet paper is gone, man. The only thing I can think of is people are too lazy to buy tissues, and they rather right. roll on toilet paper. Uh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, the music bothers you. Let me know, man. I was just playing. Not low enough. I don't hear it. Yeah, it's it's royalty free anyway, but it's not the same kind. It's actually from Amazon Music. <laughs> you know, my wife is afraid of germs, afraid of sickness, illness. Right. She is. Absolutely, one hundred percent, not terrified at all over this virus. Well, you know, you all have like what two confirmed cases over there? No, uh, one so far. Yeah, North Carolina only has two. Here, a <laughs> hundred plus. Ooh, trusty sidekick in the heezy. What's up? What's going on, Trusty? Uh, I had to uh, <laughs> turn off the stream uh, on the other browser, so <laughs> I was oh, hearing no duplicate. That was kind of weird. So, 
No, no worries, man. So tell me all about your experience at uh, uh, Mission Barbecue. Mission, uh, <laughs> well, you know, uh, I had been telling my dad I was going to take him out to dinner there one night. And so finally we had a night where we didn't have anything to do. And uh, so I said, well, come on, let's go. And uh, so, you know, we walked in and everybody's super friendly. Our first time there, you know, so they uh, they walked us through uh, the ordering, you know, and uh, showed us the smokers and everything. And oh, yeah, it's nice, ain't it? Yeah, it's really nice. You know, I, I especially like the big black, uh, whatever the, the trucks are that they have. Yeah, the five front. ton. Oh, man, <laughs> those were sweet. Um, and, uh, you know, gave us a, you know, coupon for a free sandwich coming back next time. And uh, yeah, dad loved it. I mean, he couldn't get enough. He definitely wants to go back. Me too. It was delicious. Um, yeah. So good recommendation. Thanks. Yeah. For, for a chain barbecue place, it's freaking amazing. It, it really was. It really and was. The, and the prices are good. It was, it was a little more than I was, you know, planning to spend at first. <laughs> but then I saw the size of the sandwich and the sandwich was, you know, enormous. We had to open it up scrape some stuff off so that we could eat the sandwich it's just so much meat there's no yeah. such thing as too much meat i know so i didn't say i didn't say too much i said so much no. <laughs> <laughs> let's see uh sporting outdoors we're next out of stuff yeah my woman uh, works at a doctor's office and has me terrified since bit biter i'm very ocd i wish i could create anti uh sick bubble but i'm always washing my hands using my hand yeah yeah that's all you really have to do right just make sure you continuously wash your hands which i mean technically speaking hopefully people should have been doing that right like you go to the bathroom you touch something you you know you shake people's hands and stuff like that hopefully you you know you're, you're continuing a ritual of of you know sanitizing or whatever you know yeah you you would hope but you know there were people in our office building who routinely did not wash their hands yeah well yeah, those yeah, are so the people you, you do that trick where you make sure after you wash your hands you use the towel in your hand to open the doorknob and then yeah, throw it I in the trash as you leave <laughs> That's as that's what I do every time because I like yeah. what good does it do me to wash my hands? I'm gonna touch a door where people touch that they didn't wash their hands. Like, I know, yeah, right? Not, no, that's that's crazy. In it's crazy perfect, to me. In a perfect world, that doorknob or handle should be the cleanest thing in the building. In a perfect world. In a perfect world. Uh, but you know, yeah, man. So I saw that North Carolina had two incidents, and uh those two people. We're, we're, we're visiting in Washington State and they went home to North Carolina. Ah. <laughs> I was like, damn it, man. Yeah. It, it, it's, do you know it's like 100 plus uh, cases in North Carolina? I'm not in, uh, in California and Washington alone. That's 200 really? plus in these two states. I guess the two biggest states. I looked at the map today. I was like, oh, you got to be kidding me, man. Oh, nasty over there. Hey, proud. It's because it's a port. I think is they're both major ports of entry. Yeah, we got a couple of cases here in Virginia that I've heard of, but they're up in northern Virginia, you know, which is get all those people who, who work in DC and travel a lot. So I don't know. Yeah, ports of entry. It's bad, bad juju. Man. Bad juju. Man, that's awesome, though, man. At least, you know, I made made dinner. The wife <laughs> and the kids are fed, and well, you know, the, the kid gets food regardless. But yeah, yeah, that's beside the point, you know. But I gotta restock restock the wifey so she can feed the kid. That's right. So I was like, oh man, do you mind if I uh, jump on the system for a minute? You know, at least draw for an hour or so, talk with, shop it up with the fellas. You know, I, I didn't put it out there, out there. Oh no, man, <laughs> that my coffin is never gonna go away. That's part of my life. That's part of my life. That cough will be there till the day I die. Unfortunately for me, I picked it up in Afghanistan, so. That cough ain't going away. Never, unfortunately. I wish. <laughs> I wish I didn't have it, but hey. 
I'm starting to feel that way about the cough I picked up from my cold back in January. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it won't go away either. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Oh, man, don't worry about that, man. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's just something that it's just something that happened. It's no big deal. So, trusty, long time, no talk. I know, right? Well, uh, I, I got to confess, you know, I've just I've been stressed and just weary uh, for a while dealing with everything I've got to do. Um, paperwork and stuff because I'm conservator for my dad. Right. So I, I had a lot of that stuff going on. By the time I'm done, I'm just wiped. I don't feel like doing anything. Um, so. I was going to see if you saw my confession. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I was going to see if you saw my confession with uh, with me and the group. Was it in the chat? In our group chat? Yeah. I'll have about to go back. Ago. About a week ago. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm blanking. I probably did see it. What did I see? <laughs> well, I, I, obviously, I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's totally totally fine. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Every couple days, I ask Jimmy if anybody said anything. Yeah, everybody's pretty cool about it. I think, for the most part, I don't. I haven't really said anything. I haven't really been paying attention to myself. Um, I've been so busy, dude. Like, honestly, um, like between well, yeah, the baby, you have an excuse. You know, the baby keeping keeping the, the baby keeps the wife up more than me. But whenever the wife gets overwhelmed, then of course he'll kick me. Right off the bed, and I fall on the floor, bump my head in the wall. Like, what happened? <laughs> Get your butt up and take care of that kid. You know, and uh, and then I'll wake up. But like, if if uh, she usually waits the late as possible, so like, if she wakes, if I wake up around four forty five, five o'clock, then I'm up for the rest of the day. And then, of course, you know, dealing with you know, I, I, st I still have to work because I don't, you know, my job, no paternity leave. So, so you know, I do that. And then by the time I get around to everything else, I just I'm just exhausted, dude. You know, and I'm like, oh, and I, I try to see, uh, you know, when you guys stream, I try to catch y'all streams and you know, on the sidelines. But I was told my wife, I said, look, um, shoot, man. The, the channel, man, the, the digital bullpen is like, they, it fell to the wayside and, you know, I need to put something up because I'm feeling like, you know, it's it's kind of like, <clears throat> it's been like my baby, even though it's all of us, you know, but I feel like if I don't, if I don't keep it up, if I don't keep, do upkeep with the uh, digital bullpen, man, just like it'll, it'll fall to the wayside, you know? Yep. And I don't want it to fall to the wayside. I've been doing this so long, you know. So there was that. And, you know, I got to get back into the groove. You know, right now the baby's content. The wife is content. So now if that changes, I might dip out. Y'all may continue to stream. <laughs> no, I have to. I have to cut. I have to shut the stream. Otherwise, we'll probably stream twenty four seven. A blank screen. Right. Right. Well, and uh, then you know, uh, cheesecake challenge is coming up in a little bit too. Yeah, in in about an hour. I just saw it. Yeah, he already sent the Google Hangouts. Oh really? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess it's starting now. What time is it? Oh, it's almost eleven. Yeah. Yeah, I miss you too, Bit Biter, man. I haven't seen you online. I haven't seen you anywhere. It's like, man. I, I, and I do know what I do enjoy doing this. Just like fun for me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just fun. And having good people is a good thing too. You know. Having the good people on. I didn't really invite everybody either. I, I guess I'm just... I didn't want it to be a big, uh, you know, I didn't want to have a lot of people on. And then if I have to dip off, you know, feel like I wasted their time. You know what I mean? Right. And um, so that's why I was like, 
I invited Josh, and Josh was like, okay. And then I saw you that you was paying attention. So, like, you know, Trusty's cool. We like Trusty. <laughs> Why, thanks. I like you, too. You know, he always, he always, <laughs> does, he always does good good art. Oh, Big Bites have been getting, been, I've been busy getting ready for the baby. I know, man. It's crazy how much stuff you got to do, man, to prep, you know, to prep for that, you know. Shoot, my baby is like a, <laughs> she is like a bully, man. <laughs> <laughs> she be terrorizing my spouse. You know, I like. I was like, man, she is like a tiny little bully, adorable tiny little bully, but nonetheless. Pretty cool, pretty cool, man. It's awesome being a dad again. Uh-oh. I didn't close that. It's going to be a big black screen in a minute. <laughs> Miranda says, Josh, E, trusty. This is a Miranda. digital bullpen. Yeah, we, tr we try to do uh Oh, that's not what I wanted. We try to do good digital bullpens every so often. You know, we try to balance it out between the mediocre uh, digital bullpens, the bad digital bullpens, and the good digital bullpens. We, one day we'll have a great digital bullpen, and we'll balance it out to a 50% digital bullpen, and life will be great. Life will be perfectly balanced, as it should be. <laughs> uh, in the words of Thanos. So anything good happening? Any new shows? I haven't been watching TV either. <laughs> Yeah, all I've been doing is getting ready for Comic Con. I haven't been doing much of anything. You know, it's it's, it's insane. It's insane. Hold on, something happened on uh, had a quack. Why did I get a quack? Usually, quacks are on D Live, but I don't have D Live up. Don't you? That's where I first tuned in. I no no I don't have it up on my computer. Like I'm not keeping up with it. Oh oh I see. Hey Leo X White, thanks for the lemon. I'm sorry. I just I just flipped over to. <laughs> I see Mission Barbecue. I got whatever. Okay cool. So I'm catching up on the chats. Leo X White donated one lemon. Greatly appreciated, brother. It's, uh, it's always good to get a donation. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these lemons. Eventually one day I'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> uh, show, let's see. Uh, oh, I want to check out Lock and Key. Yeah, man. I, you know, I have, I don't have Netflix anymore. I have to see what I can do about that. <laughs> you think this is a conspiracy with the virus? I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of uh, the only kind of not even, you know. It's like, eh, I don't know. You can make a conspiracy out of everything, though. You know what I mean? Yep. You know, did Trusty really go to Mission Barbecue? Did you really enjoy it? I, I, or was it photoshopped? Yeah, the conspiracy could have been. Photoshopped. <laughs> <Could've> been. <laughs> <coughs> I don't know, you know. I don't know is hopefully it gets contained soon, which you know, hopefully, and you know, hopefully, uh, people can go back to normal lives, whatever that means. I know is there's a lot of people talking about. You know, a lot of companies talking about letting their employees work from home. That would be cool. If their employees are uh, mature enough, if they're not, oops. Yeah, that is <laughs> nothing's the question. Gonna get, <laughs> nothing's going to get done. Oops. You know, it's a matter of that. But we'll see. We shall see. 
Yeah, but you can make, like I said, a conspiracy, a conspiracy about anything. All right, let's see. Did you finally, did you see I finally, oh man, I haven't seen it, but I'm going to watch. I, I definitely going to check it out, buddy. I didn't get, I haven't been watching a lot of videos. I'm sorry. I'll definitely check you out, but man, congratulations on not there double number one. Shoot. I know you be getting all the good stuff, man. All the good stuff. Right now, I've been looking at uh, LED lighting. <laughs> like, ooh. Like uh, the ones that you stick on like to the backs of the TVs and underneath the beds to light up the room. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been thinking about that for the for the nursery. You know, put like a little accent lighting. I don't know why. I'm like... Like, I feel like it's my room instead of hers. Like, I'm, I'm pimping that thing out. Oh, that's me, Mariah. I have um, I have music on in the background because I didn't know if anybody was going to join. This is royalty-free music from Amazon. So, hopefully, they won't take the video down. We'll see. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hold on. And there he goes. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Justice. <laughs> he knew right where I was going with that. Oh, I hear the baby. Uh huh. This might be the mini bullpen. <laughs> the mini bullpen. Yeah, did you see the Comic Con that's in in his state? They're pretty yeah. much yeah, Emerald City Comic Con. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Lexington's not canceling. Lexington's like, look, we've only got one case. They're handling it. No right. one else is canceling. We're still gonna go. But if you know they they've already said if it gets too bad, then they will cancel. But you know, one case, and we still got you know two weeks left. I, like yeah. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Where's my bottle? <laughs> or with something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's my teddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. The baby waking up in the middle of the night was not too bad. Get up, change Sorry the baby, take, take it to my wife and go back to sleep. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that, people. <laughs> I had to, to leave for a quick second, but I'm back. Let's see where he says. I have those environmental lights. I think they're LED, but they last they last for years. Yeah. You see that Todd Knock was doing Gwen Stacy covers? Yeah, I saw that. But I didn't get it because I think I took my I think I took my stupid stylus to the other room too. Hold on. Go find my stylus. <laughs> you walk in there, you're not coming back. Oh my lord. When did I start streaming? Because I'm I might might go about another 15, 20 minutes. I think that'll be an hour. I told my wife no more than an hour tonight. Uh, it's kind of I know not a lot of time, but yeah. It's, it's <laughs> I'm not doing anything, but since you asked, I I came. So uh Harley Quinn the movie? Birds of Prey or Harley Quinn on the books? <laughs> Great question. Yeah, no, I wanted to do something, you know, just hang out for a minute. You know what I mean? No, I get it, dude. But yeah, I've been packaging my posters all night in pre packaged with hangers. Oh, yeah. Put them up there at the display, and people can just come grab the bags and be like, I want these. I'm like, okay, cool. It's this much. You know, less me having to handle and give them stuff. Right, right, right. Coronavirus. No, I, no, I just, <laughs> I'm tired of handling them stuff. I was just tired of handling him stuff all the time. So <coughs> pre-packaged, all already hanging on little hangers for them mm -hmm, to just mm -hmm. grab whatever they want. 
I trust him. Ryan says, next time you're hanging out at the Angle Teen stream, let them know that digblick.com is a real website. <laughs> Will do. When Josh said it the first time, I thought he was trolling me too. Heck no, that's my favorite porn site. Digblick.com. <laughs> Everybody going there actually thinking it is. And she said, all right. So the question was, do you all think, do we think that Harley Quinn is overrated both in the comics and the movies? Mm. Absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy Harley Quinn as a side character. I don't like her as the main character. I don't think she's strong enough to do that. I've never felt that way. But like whenever she first came out in Batman, the animated series, it was awesome to see her alongside Joker and, and fighting against Batman and getting caught and be like, oh, shucks, you know? It was it was comical. Yeah. The whole yeah. idea of her being a standalone badass character, yeah, she's not, and it's boring. Yeah, and I hate it when they take a character that who's gotten popular and then said, oh, okay, this, this character's popular now. We've got to make them, you know, a good guy. we got to put them in with the hero teams. Yeah, it, she's a bad guy. I mean, the best adaptation is the the Batman uh, video games. Yes, she's yes. crazy. She's you know, she's partly you know, she's really shows her psychopathic side on one of them. You know, so yeah, there's, she's a great side character, a mini boss in a sense, but as a as a good guy, no. And like that Harley Quinn movie that. Um, Went back to like the old Batman uh, cartoon animation. It, that was oh, the one uh, where she basically jumps Nightwing's bones. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, one, it wasn't the same voice actor. It was the yeah. girl from uh, Big Bang Theory. So you know, right then I could tell something. Ooh, that just screwed up on me. Um, you know, it, it wasn't Harley in a sense. I can get past that. You know. She did, she did a good job for, for what she could do. But, yeah, the story plot, I was like, I'm glad I didn't buy this. <laughs> I think I started to watch it on Amazon or Netflix or something and then quit. <laughs> I didn't get very far. I watched the whole thing because so I was like, Dadgum, I'm already here. Let's just do it. Get it over with. But, yeah, I, I'm so glad I didn't spend money on that. And that Birds of Prey movie? No. Didn't. Didn't go. I, I'm not going to go. Um, it, it may be one of those movies that I'll catch eventually on Netflix or something, but they're not going to get any money from me. Yeah. He says they're tired, tired of her milking her dry as bones now. Yeah. <clears throat> she just takes a pudding and sit her butt down now. And Marania says, absolutely. Harley Quinn and Deadpool and Wolverine only to take a year's long hiatus from the books and the media. Well, Wolverine just came back though within the past year. You know, he was dead for it for what four years. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he's just now coming back. It's not the same one. I think that's where most of us are upset. It's not like the same Wolverine we had beforehand. And I didn't like what they did with him. And yes, you know, fourteen comics of Deadpool—that's a little much. You, you know, they really drove that into the ground real quick. Yeah. And I kind of miss the days of Deadpool being a bad guy. Not a Merc with a Mouth and not, you know, just crazy adventures. I'm talking <coughs> an actual serious story of him being the bad guy, like Weapon X and that type of stuff. Not just a, a lunatic with seven dif different personalities in his head. <laughs> and that was cool for a while, but, you know, he just he got away from what he was. And the movies are great. They, the movie, they, I do like the movies. Yeah, the movies are great. I, I mean, I enjoyed each one. Uh, but that being said, I haven't watched them since I saw them in theaters. Yeah. <clears throat> Need to go. <laughs> Deadpool needs to go live ground. Live ground. Yeah. Um, what are y'all thinking about this Bloodshot movie coming out with Vin Diesel? Uh, I'm willing to give that a shot because it's Vin Diesel. I really yeah. am. Speaking uh, of being diesel, Fast and the Furious 9, for real? Dude, he's wanting to take them in space. 
So I don't understand where that one is. I just want another Chronicles of Riddick. Me too. I want another Pitch Black Chronicles of Riddick sequel. I want another Last of the Witch Hunter sequels. I didn't like that movie. You didn't like Last of the Witch Hunters? It was so boring. Dude, that was one of my favorite movies. I just couldn't believe. I, I was expecting more, I think. I could get where, you, where you'd say that, but after watching Babylon AD and that one, I was expecting a heck of a lot more, and I was very disappointed with that movie. And then I got Last of the Witch Hunters. I was like, ooh, ooh this movie's actually this movie's a lot better. I like the premise. I don't like the concept of the movie, right? I don't know if I like the execution of the movie. Something was off for me, you know. Really? Like I, I was like, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, and, and I watched it because I was super hyped for it. Like I was maybe I think that's what the problem was. I was like really hyped about. You stop watching trailers and getting hyped for stuff. It always ruins you. Uh, maybe <laughs> I, I do. Trailers do hype me up though. Like so like far, you have not liked most things you've been hyped about beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Pitbiter says, "I thought maybe, maybe it's a Kentucky thing. Maybe people from Kentucky like the last witch hunter." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have to. I guess I have to see it again. But you know, the thing is, my wife likes those types of movies, and then even she was like, eh, 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 "You know what I'm saying?" I'm like, "Whoa." And my, and my wife is like, if it's action, you know, that a, a mystique and, and, you know, stuff like that. She loves it, man. Like, um, I guess the last witch hunter is like occult, I guess. Um, you know, she likes that kind of stuff, honestly. And, and even she was like, nah. It was like, whoa, for Shantae to give it a max. Oh, my bad. She's going to kill me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> for her to give it a blah. And I was like, "Whoa, I don't know. I have to look at it again." I'll do that. Tell you what, I'll, I'll because Bitbiter and Josh both said, "I'm, I'm willing to give it another shot with a fresh set of eyes." I loved it. I mean, I've already told my wife, if I ever get me Amazon money, I'm buying it on Amazon. What the uh, last witch hunter? Okay, so you want to own the digital? Well, because it's kind of hard around here to find older movies. And I'm not one to buy stuff online unless I have right. to anymore. Uh, speaking of which, does trailer reveals too much? I don't think so. Some trailers, some trailers get some trailers are the best part of the movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Just you put all the, the good parts in the trailer. Yeah, like the trailer is like what a minute, two minutes long, a minute and a half long, and it's the best part of the movie, the whole movie. Sum up in the trailer, but some trailers don't show a lot, you know. Like the Avengers trailers didn't show a lot. Some trailers speak falsely, like the movie flushed away. The trailer had nothing to do with the movie. Right, <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Man, not I went in expecting a different kind of animated movie, and then I got that, and I was like, "That's not at all what the trailer said." <laughs> and the only reason I knew that was because working for GameStop, it was a movie that was um, on repeat on the TVs oh. there for a long time. So I don't know if GameStop got an early trailer. And they updated later on or what, but it wasn't the same movie. Well, what was so different about it? The whole premise, the whole premise of what the movie was. Just Weird. the whole idea. Lock stock, all of it. Weird. I had no like as soon as I went to go see the movie, I had no idea at all what I was watching. You know, that happens sometimes. Um there's a movie, I can't remember which one it was, but there was a movie that did the same thing for me. Like I went in there thinking like it was gonna be one thing. And um it was completely not that. 
Oh, <clears throat> the Wolfman remake that just happened a few years ago. The trailers had me hyped. The movie sucked. Yeah. Speaking of which, the Invisible Man, they're, make, they're remaking it or making it another Invisible Man. What y'all think about that? Well, you know, I give them credit. They're really trying to make a Monsters Universe. You know, Universal Studios is trying to do everything they can. They tried with the Dracula Untold, and I love that movie. Me too. But for them, in a sense, it was a flop. So I don't know why. I liked it. It just didn't. It did not do what they were expecting. I did. Yeah. I liked I Frankenstein too, though. So hmm, I like. Okay, I Frankenstein is worth watching once or twice every few years. But <laughs> I didn't understand the whole angels being gargoyles thing. Yeah. So you know, it, it had a lot of a lot of flaws with that movie. It did. It did. It was, still, it was still entertaining. Don't get me wrong. Exactly. Exactly. I was still entertained, even though in the background going, this just pisses me off, but I'm still watching it. Yeah, no, and that's what I mean. It was a great movie because it did entertain you. It kept you engaged. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the 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 Wolfman movie, awful. Oh my gosh. Let's see. It's like the 2020 Iron Man online books for me. They gave me the stats, the sads. The stories are mad. The artist 80s Neon Miami Vice style are horribly so. Honestly, I haven't wanted to see a movie in a while. The trailers lately are best bits of the movie, so why we see them? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I don't know. Some of them are. Some of the trailers are the best bits. And um, some of the trailers, um, they're not even in the movie. <laughs> like, you're like, wait a minute. That's, that wasn't it. That didn't even make the final cut of the movie. Yeah, and sometimes they purposely deceive us. Like, remember for uh, Infinity War, and they showed, you know, the Hulk running along with everybody else, and then you get to the movie, and he's not there. It's just Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster suit. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Right. So, there was that. There definitely was that. I was like, whoa, what happened there? Yeah. But... You know, it is what it is on that. Like you said, sometimes the trailers are not, they're not in the ah. movie at all. Sometimes they're the best part of the movie. And sometimes you don't even know what, the, what that trailer was, what movie that trailer was for. Right. Yeah. What's up, Art? Excuse me. What's up, Art Reed? How you doing, bud? I'll see you creeping into the. Especially Fallen Kingdom. It's like for Civil War when they show the Spidey take cap shield scene in the trailers. That was just like, oh well, so much for the surprises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you but know, I think got people hyped to see Spidey. So. You know what? And to me, and I know people are gonna be like, ah, ah, but that was the best Spidey on that particular scene in that particular movie. That I've seen in a long time. I liked it, honestly. You know, just the whole the whole wonderment of him still being a teenager, you know, and you know that oh, wow, it's Captain America. And like when Winter Soldier threw the punch and he caught the punch and he looked at the arm like, whoa, you know, <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, very, very wide eyed teenager. You know, I like that. I like that. Hey, I, I, I'm with you. My family really likes. Tom Holland as Spider Man. And we went back and rewatched the Tobey Maguire ones, you know, and there's good and bad, but uh, yeah, did not like Andrew Garfield, didn't, didn't like those two movies. But uh, yeah, we, we like Tom. I, I do like Tom Holland. I just like them, you know, it, it was uh, it was good. I liked them in Civil War, uh, <laughs> you know, because it was just different you know it was just like you know a young spider-man still with fresh eyes and wonderment of the world you know and mm -hmm. uh nobody knew who he was and nobody knows how to gauge his strength you know and you know it's pretty cool you know yeah um, i like that little exchange with him and cap like where you from queens brooklyn <laughs> yeah so that was pretty cool you know I thought it was cool. I really enjoyed it. Like it got me hyped 
for the other Spider-Man movies that were about to come out. Knowing that, you know, that's the kind of Spider-Man we were going to get. Mariah says, Mariah says, Brie Larson is jealous of Tom Holland, though. He doesn't have to have a butt double. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, he was a dancer, you know, so or a gymnast or something. So, yeah, he's going to have well developed. Yeah, yeah. You know, he did some of those flips on for real, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what, what I was thinking of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did some of those flips for real, and actually, he they said he did one of the flips in the audition. Like, uh, am I supposed to flip like Spider Man? And then, he, <laughs> and then he flipped. <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty cool. That's that's when you know someone really wants to roll. Like, ah, oh, I can do the flips too. Don't get it twisted, buddy. I am Spider Man. It's like, look, look, like I can do some of my own stunts here. B. Larson has a wreck, though. <laughs> See her on Jimmy Kimmel's show and she hosts it. Yeah, that was a very uh, very revealing dress for an empowered woman who wants to be taken seriously for her accolades and not for her assets. <laughs> but I digress. I digress. I digress. I'll be nice and be quiet. <laughs> I digress. Oh man, this hour has flown quick. Yeah. Jeez, man. But I, anyway, I did. I did promise the wife I won't stay more than one hour. Um, I want to, you know, because I'm just getting into a groove, catching up with the team and whatnot. I appreciate everybody that hung out, man, with us, even if it is for this short. Um, even if it is from this short time, you know, sorry, sorry, people. But I do appreciate y'all coming by. I appreciate y'all leaving your thumbs up and your likes. If you want to see any uh, more of us, uh, you know, of course, Josh has his own channel. Josh, tell him where you can be found, sir. Uh, Josh, Chris Art, and, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and all those places, and Smoke Signal, and Carrier Pigeon, and whatever else. And of course, we got the trustiest of the trusty people, trusty sidekick. Yeah, you can find me uh, rooting around in trash cans at night. So don't call the cops. It's just me. Uh, <laughs> sometimes on Twitter, trusty sidekick three. Rarely these days on Instagram. Hopefully, I get back to it. Uh, I got about another rough two months, and then after that, things will settle down a little bit. So we'll see. Right, right. And of course, I am your humble host, ERTs. And uh, it, although it might be sporadic, we'll just try to get the digital bullpen postpartum going more and more uh, frequently. I don't know if I, if I, it might be just once a week, so I can get a full swing going, or if I'm able to get it twice a week. But um, for sure, at least it's gonna be once a week. Um, if you follow me at Twitter, uh, colorblind underscore e. Um, I'll post it on there what the new schedule might be or may not be. Okay. So y'all have a blessed night and um, thank you again for joining us, man. Head over to the Cheesecake Challenge on Slick Jimmy's channel. Yeah. Bye bye.